Uber pit stops, what are they? And do you really need to use them? That's coming up in this video. Hey, my name is John from Ride Up State, and today I wanna to talk to you about the new Uber pit stops feature that you'll find in the Uber driver app. Now, this is a feature that mm, I would say that anyone who's been driving for a while probably doesn't need, but because Uber is constantly onboarding drivers, it's probably gonna be helpful for newer drivers. And I'll explain what I mean in a little while. So what are Uber pit stops? Basically what you'll have is in the lower right hand corner of your screen when you are online, you'll see a coffee mug. And if you tap that coffee mug, it'll show you nearby locations, uh, restaurants, and places that have restrooms that you can use. In addition to showing you the locations, You'll also find deals on gas, which I think go through GetUpside or GasBuddy. I'm not 100% sure about that. As well as there's supposed to be discounts on drinks and things like that. Just small amenities that you can get as a driver. But is this something that a driver really needs to use? Most drivers who've been driving for a while know their market, know where they can stop, and know how to kind of game the system, so to speak, so that they don't get any requests while they're still online. Usually what drivers would do in the past, especially now that Uber Connect is available, is they would switch everything off except for Uber Connect because those requests hardly come in and they could go into a gas station, pump gas, and no new requests would come in or they could go into a restaurant and get something to eat or use the restroom. So. As far as experienced drivers, I don't think this is a feature that they'll be using because they kind of have their tricks. They know where to go. However, if you're in an unfamiliar area, and that happens sometimes as a driver, you may not know where the best places are to stop. So what you can do is you can hit that little coffee mug and it will provide you navigation to the nearest restroom, to the nearest gas station, so that you can stop. It will pause your dash, and then when you're ready to restart, you can then resume your dash. The benefit of this is if you have a destination set, you don't have to go offline. So if you've had a destination set and you've gotten rides towards your destination and you go offline, you lose that destination setting. With the Uber Pit Stop feature, you don't lose that destination. It stays connected and you don't waste a, a setting. Now here's the thing. One thing that I've noticed is that this feature is not yet available in the Android version of the app. So if you're like one of the many drivers out there that uses an Android phone for Uber, then this feature, I think, at least in my market, is not available to Android users. You have to have an iPhone in order to take advantage of this feature. And that to me is the biggest detriment to this feature. It is not available to all drivers. And by limiting it to just the iPhone app, there are many drivers who cannot take advantage of this feature. Now, in the end, I think this is a pretty good feature, especially if you're in an unfamiliar area and you're someplace where you may not know where there's a decent restaurant to eat or a decent place to stop. However, one thing that they can add to this is to allow drivers to rate each of the pit stops. And if drivers rate the pit stops, because who wants to stop someplace where the restrooms are grubby, where the staff is slow when you're getting food, where the gas prices are higher than everywhere else around? Allowing a rating feature so that drivers can actually rate the pit stops would be the best thing in my opinion. So what do you think? What do you think about this new feature? What do you think about it only being available to iPhone users? And will you use this feature? My name is John from Ride Up State, reminding you that just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. And if you could, I'd really help like it if you'd hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you're interested in content like this, as well as I'd appreciate it if you'd support me directly on Venmo. There's a link in the description below. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.